The London Theatre Cast. Friends of official London theatre.co.uk. In the spotlight. When Tony Award winning musical Avenue Q opened in the West End back in the summer of 2006, it was a shock to the system. No one had ever seen a musical quite like it. It's irreverent humour combined with its use of both humans and puppets to tell the story of a graduate looking for meaning in life, endeared it to critics and audiences alike, and drew a new crowd to the theatre. Julie Atherton was in the show's first cast, and having taken time away, returned to resume the roles of Kate Monster and Lucy the Slut just before Christmas. I caught up with her at the Noel Coward Theatre to talk about coming back to the show and her passion for new musical theatre. Hello, this is Kate Monster from Avenue Q, and you are listening to the London Theatre Cast. How do you feel about going back into Avenue Q? Very excited, actually. Um, at first, I was a little bit nervous because I was thinking, oh, no, what if like it's going to really hurt? And, <laughs> and uh, you know, what if I get really sick of it straight away? But I, I'm i really excited. It's a great cast I'm going to be working with as well. And, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to have little Kate back on my arm. Because, obviously, you were in the original cast. Everyone's different now, so is it... Is it a completely different feeling for you working with different people? Yeah, it is. Um, I mean, it feels the same because the puppets are the same, so technically I'm looking at the same characters. <laughs> but, yeah, they're just absolutely lovely, really warm, and, yeah, it's, it's really nice. And I knew um, a couple of them before anyway, um, so it's brilliant to be working with them. So what is it about Avenue Q, do you think, that, that has made it so popular? It's just addictive, isn't it? <laughs> it's because the little cartoons aren't they <laughs> little puppets um it's just everything you grow up with you know sesame street and uh, finally you get to put a puppet on and swear <laughs> it's like being a big kid again and playing with toys and <laughs> so uh, yeah it's just it's brilliant it's a really charming show and um you just get the bug once you've either seen it or done it you know you get the bug and you love it so um i'm so pleased that i get to finish it off as well now you're not in any way a trained puppeteer. I don't think any of the cast were trained puppeteers when they came to it. So so how difficult is it to learn how to use the puppets on stage naturally? It's really difficult. Um, when we first did it, we had basically a week of intensive puppeteering and then five weeks to set the show. So while we were setting the show, we were still learning how to puppeteer and there's sometimes you just come home, it would be so frustrating. I'd just think, why am I doing this? I can't do it. But when, once you kind of get used to the puppets, does it become second nature? Do you almost forget when you're performing that you've got the puppet on your hand? Yeah, yeah, it really does. It, it's a bit like riding a bike when I put the puppet back on. I mean, of course, there's little bits that I need to, you know, like keeping the head straight and making sure the focus is right, and, you know, still those things that are a little bit, ah, but scary. But um, it was just like, oh, yeah, I know, I know how to do this. Yeah, it's you crazy. When you, when you left the first time, so I imagine yeah. having little little people next to you <laughs> doing action it's a podcast no one can see my hands um, I imagine having little pe- people next to you when you do leave them it is like you, you do miss them absolutely yeah I really really miss Kate <laughs> not Lucy <laughs> <laughs> quickly asking about Notes from New York because you've, you've been connected with it from the very start you've just done the last five years celebrating five years of Notes from New York and you've just done Christmas in New York as well why is this new musical so uh, so important to you as a performer? Incredibly important to all of our the West End in general. Like we've got to get these jukebox <laughs> jukebox musicals away and start. Um, you know, I mean, Les Mis was once new. Miss Saigon was once new. We we used to take a chance on musical theatre, and all of a sudden, no one will take a risk anymore because you think, oh, well, it won't pull the punters in. It's like they will come if you advertise, <laughs> and if the show is good enough, they will come back. Um, and it's it's just so difficult uh, because uh, unfortunately it has to be a revival to take the limelight. And I'm not saying these shows are, you know, are no good. I mean, I haven't even seen them. Cause I haven't. <laughs> but but um, it's just, you know, they, they were good. They're, they're on DVD, <laughs> you know, most of them, all these old-fashioned musicals that are being brought back. And um, it is nice to bring them back once in a while, but it, it's been a little bit saturated with, um, with them now. And we just need new writing, and we need a platform for new writing, and... And Notes from New York, you know, at one point was the only platform. Now there's perfect pitch as well. And, you know, people are, are really trying now. And it's great because there is a, a real need for it. Um, we just made to shout louder about it, really. 
Oh, I went off on one then, didn't I? <laughs> um, and finally, and much more flippantly, um, were you ever worried with Avenue Q about doing full frontal puppet nudity? Well, I was a little worried. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> I've got my elbow out. <laughs> Thank you very, very much for talking to us. Thank great, you. Though. Thank you very much. Avenue Q is playing at the Noel Coward Theatre until March. You can find out more about the show by visiting avenueqthemusical.co.uk. You live on Avenue Q. London Theatre Cast.